Next in our MicroTik series is how to assign a static IP address to a device in your DHCP, in your DHCP pool. So I'm going to just sign into uh, WebFig here on my laptop. And I want to show you how easy this is to do. So click on IP and click on DHCP server and click on leases. This is an important thing to do because you're, you're going to need to have static IP addressing on your network for things like servers. Uh, in my case, um, we're also looking at Pi-hole, for example. So my Pi-hole server is in fact set as 10.0.0.2. That is a static reservation in my DHCP pool for um, on my Microtech. So any of these devices, so these ones are dynamic. See these? Dynamic. D. The ones that are that have a D button, that button will actually convert it to dynamic, but they are currently static. So let's look at, uh, I've got a, uh, let's grab my phone. There's my Poco phone. So I'm just going to click on that, and it's currently assigned to 10.0.0.107. So I'm just simply going to press Make Static. And now it has been assigned to 10.0.0.107 static. But if I close that, now you'll see 107 has that D next to it and no longer is it dynamic. So now if I open it by single clicking on it, I get all these new options. And now I can assign it its own IP address, something that is not currently in use on my pool. So I can assign that to .88 and hit OK. And now my Poco phone is 10.0.0.88. There it is. See how easy it is to configure a, a static reservation on your DHCP pool on a Microtech device? It's fantastic. Quick follow-up question in our Discord from the Foo, who's asking, shouldn't reserved IPs be outside of the DHCP pool's dynamic range? And while technically true in, an, in a different type of scenario where you're not using DHCP, that's not the case here. I'm going to explain why. So traditionally, us sysadmins are basically, it's, it's ingrained in our minds to always assign the, DHC, uh, the static address outside of the pool. The reason for that is if you, let's say you install a new printer on a network and you go to that printer and you type in the IP address and you put it within the pool. Now your DHCP server doesn't even know that it exists because it did not assign the IP address. So what we're doing here is completely different. What we're doing is we're setting the reservation in the DHCP server. So that printer is still just getting the IP address from the DHCP server. So does it have to be outside of the pool now? No. The reason it would have to be if I was typing it in manually onto the printer is because when the DHCP server then assigns that IP address to another device on your network, it's going to cause an IP collision conflict. So you're going to have two devices sharing the same IP uh, address, and you're going to get all kinds of like ARP attacks warning, uh, ARP attack warnings, things like that, because you've got these collisions occurring within your network. Things are going to go slow all of a sudden. That's a problem. Because I am assigning my IP address from the DHCP server to my device or to my printer, I can set it to anything that is not already assigned. And it will dish it out through the DHCP, and it doesn't matter whether it's within the pool or not.